All right, so this is gonna be the old uh, finger point method, so forgive me, but what we effectively have, we have uh, non-load bearing walls here and on the other side behind me. And then this southern long exposure wall here with the three posts is gonna be our load bearing wall. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna run a line of rafters from basically where that transition of the two materials there, mount them to the building and run them straight to this top plate here. And so they're gonna completely bypass this wall section. So that's why this wall section is framed or it doesn't have like any kind of real proper header or anything like that. This wall section on the other hand has proper jack studs, a proper header. But what's a little weird, forgive this, this is that post isn't plumb and whatnot. So I, I need to fix that. But what's interesting, what I did here is that this is like a, a semi load bearing because the post, as you can see, will make up part of the low or the the first top plate the lower top plate and then there's going to be a second top plate that comes across and joins the posts and the the first top plate and everything together and then between the jack studs with the headers and then the posts that's going to be our comp combined load bearing down and underneath this line I have a full ledger that's going to take the the, the weight of this so here's the other window you can see same thing there's going to be two windows in this opening excuse me in this wall and uh, yeah, they're not framed in anywhere near, you know, there's no header. I do, I'm gonna put a little queen in right here. But yeah, for the most part, again, those, those rafters are just gonna connect from there and go straight across. And so this whole wall section isn't load bearing. So um, once the wife gets back and we can do like some nice videos, I'll show you guys, uh, you know, we'll give you a rundown once it's done.